the fuck's going on? We're supposed to be at like 2,500 feet right now, instead we're at 6,000. Shit. Yeah, we were supposed to have been at 2,500 by this point, and we're not. We're a, we're really, really not. Fuck it. Whoops. That's not the button I meant to press. Um. Oh god. Here we go. I don't know why this has happened, by the way. I haven't got a clue. But. Shut up. Well, this is stupid, but hey, what are you, you going to do, eh? Transition you weren't just hitting the transition altitude. What the fuck's going on? Seriously. Whatever. Time to use the force. Shut up, Master Caution. I don't get it, man. This this worked fine the first time around. So now, it's just, now it's just being weird. Maybe I didn't approach when I should have. I don't. I, I don't fucking know. It was all set up totally correctly in the M MCDU. I, it's probably just got something to do with the general strangeness that's been going on with this game lately. Oh, great! It's also really foggy down here. By the way. Spoilers. But hey, you see, because I've played plenty of other proper, you know, like, spent so much time basically flying smaller planes, like piston engine stuff, I know what to do in a situation like this. But if I was a guy who'd come along and just did airliners and, and Airbus simulators, for example. Wouldn't have a clue what to do right now. I'd be panicking big time, but now I'm just like, eh, fuck it. Bring it around, slow descent, get back on the glide slope, no problem. No fuss. at all. I mean, the plane's yelling at me, but I don't really care. More drag it needs, right? Okay, okay more drag it is. Master caution will come out because I've got the speed brakes on, that's fine. Back on here and capture the glide slope. Oh god, this is going to be a bit crazy. Okay, this is the bit where I do completely misjudge it because I'm used to flying smaller planes, but no, no, it looks like we might be okay. Good heavens! Still out. Yep, put that away. Throttle. What fucking position are you at right now? Oh, fuck it. Never mind. Flaps. Yeah, yeah. Everything's messed up now on account of. Well, it wouldn't be one of my streams if the whole ending was... Right, you know what? You know what? Okay, no, that's cool. We'll go around. Put it on Toga. Now I can actually look at my throttle. We'll get that back on auto. It's cool. 
the shit happens in real life from time to time. It's no biggie. Do, 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 do. Well, autopilot screwed the pooch there a bit, I'm afraid. Which I'm slightly pissed off about, because there's no reason why it should... Be. There, there is no reason why it should, should have done that, but it did it anyway. So, I don't know. Just adjust my track out here. Get that back over here. Now, what are you doing now, plane? in auto position right now. Okay, let's bring it gently left. Man, the spoilers. Yeah, auto throttle. I forgot you had to put. You have to switch that on separately over there. Okay. We'll get it down, folks. We should have more than enough fuel. So, yeah, we do. We have way more than enough fuel. You know what, to be fair, this has turned into a sort of interesting challenge. I don't mind this so much. <laughs> Extend the range a bit on this. Okay, here we go. And I can see the beginning of the approach waypoint up in front of us too. Awesome. Disarm approach. Oh, uh, maybe we should arm it actually, because it mucked up the thing there a bit. Yeah, there we go, okay. Keep that armed. Cool. <laughs> Jump out of the parachute. Hmm. Whatever is responsible for this autopilot weirdness, I can guarantee you, is what's also responsible for GSX being weird. And for my flight plan being mysteriously already filled in. Something's afoot. Now let's take it left. Oh, we've got loads of room to play with here now. This is good. Belfast over there. But the wind's being a bit odd. Uh, 
Yeah, I look, the glide slope's not picking shit up at the moment, um, unfortunately, because if you look at he if you look very closely at this, we're nowhere near the, the 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 glide slope or the approach vector at all. I'm trying to get back onto it so that we can reacquire the uh, glide slope in the first place. That's the problem. We're at like a 90 degree angle right now to the uh, the glide slope, so I'm coming. I'm bringing this back around so I can reset the whole thing. So throttle, really? Are you going to mess everything up for me now? There we go, okay. Okay, now we need to bring it around to the left. I'm a bit too high though, yeah, definitely at this point I need to get down a little low, but that's not a problem. Bring out speed break. Glide slip live, there you go, see, I'm not a total idiot, I've got it. <laughs> um, okay. And. What's your pilot on? Woo! Now, is the autopilot going to climb me up to... Oh, dear God. Manage, please. Manage. For the love of God, managed. Autopilot, why are you climbing? This is why I turned you off in the first place. I can only hope it levels itself out and comes back down. Because we're in trouble otherwise. Okay, it looks like it's starting to behave. Phew. I hope it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Oh, God. Yeah, it looks like it's getting there. Oof. Probably gonna still bring us in a little too high and fast. Crap! Yeah, look at this, look at this, this is ridiculous. It's done it again. You stupid autopilot! Oh, God! Now we're gonna go around again! The problem is, if I don't do this properly, idiot number two over here in the other seat will not do things like lower my gear for me and shit. Look at this, look at this, we're just coasting above the runway right now. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I guess. Ugh. So this this guy, like I said, is supposed to be doing this stuff for me, but he's not either for some reason. Which is a problem. And it's getting foggier and foggier. Oh, God.
No, you don't cut the engines until you get you're pretty much right getting down to touchdown. The 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 computer says retard, retard, which doesn't it, it means it's not insulting me. It's telling me to retard the throttles. I I I I cut them. But you know that would be assuming everything was working, which it sure as shit isn't. Yeah, you're, you're right, Arch. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, it's sort of like a perfect storm of crap events all happening at once. I just don't, I don't, I can't pinpoint why it went wrong in the first place, though. That's the thing that annoys me. Hang on a minute. Is this landing gear on? No, the landing gear certainly aren't. Um... I'll just do the whole thing manually from start to finish. I'll leave the auto throttle on. Maybe. And I'll just keep my eyes on the glide slope. I'll get the gear down, I'll get the flaps down as required. I don't know when they're required, unfortunately, that's the problem, but hey. Because my checklist ain't working at all. It's just stuck on final there and it's not really doing anything. Now, auto throttle's on, so hopefully that means the plane will actually put on more power as I try to climb here. And it is, yes, yeah, good. Okay, we're reaching 2,500 now, that's good. should be, but never mind. I've stopped caring about rules and procedure at this point. I just want to get the plane down so I can have a cup of tea. Probably could have turned that, started that turn a little earlier, but never mind. Okay. Gear down. Gear down. Okay, auto throttle, don't fail me here. I need you, okay? I don't know how much throttle input to put in this plane normally because I've not used manual throttles for a landing before. So, for the love of God. Always taking. Yeah, you see, this is this is so typically British right now. I am cr coming up with a creative solution to a problem that should never have existed in the first place. That is being British personified, pretty much. Claps down. Okay. Need to get a bit to the right and a bit lower for this glide slope here to match up. Right. All right. Okay. 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 Pulling up. Pulling up. Come on. Come on. Flaps through. Oh, now, now the co-pilot thing is working again. 
Jesus, thank God for that. Flaps full. 300. Come on. Two minimum. Come on. Landing check continue. Now he does the landing checklist, fucking hell. Unlocked. Three greens. One hundred. Checked and armed. This is probably going to be a long landing. Fifty. Forty. On. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. 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 There we go. Hey, <laughs> we did it! I can't bloody believe it. I don't know if the auto brakes are, are even armed at this point because I don't know if they got round to it. Stupid bloody! Looks like they are armed because we're slowing down quite a bit. Holy shit! You can all clap now, by the way. Can I just, can I please turn these lights off? These are ridiculously... There we go, that's better. <laughs> They're absurdly bright. Now, how the hell do we get to the terminal? I'm, I may need to just stop here, I'm afraid, and, and look at the chart. Hold on. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. One moment. Oh, dear. Okay, we came in down... One tw now we're runway 25, so... Okay, we need to turn right and then back that way, I think. Right and then right again. No, I'll just I'll just keep going this way. Don't deviate from the plan. After landing checklist. Exterior lights. Checked. Set off. Engine mode selector. Check normal. Flaps. Check retracted. Check standby. Brake temperature. Checked. APU. On. Checklist complete. If GSX was working right now, I could use the follow me car to bring me to the gate, but unfortunately GSX is broken, as we already know. Let me just double check that. Yep. No AFCAD data for some reason, even though it was working fine the other day. Cheers, Archie. <laughs> I thought it was going to come down with a big old thunderous bang, to be honest with you, but hey. It could have been worse. Hell, it could have been a lot worse, yeah, all things considered. A hell of a lot worse. Now I think about it, but hey. This will do. Hang on a minute. Have I even... I think I'm in the right place, yeah. Okay, yeah, here we go. I don't, I don't, I haven't, hadn't really placed much thought into which gate I was going to go with it because it essentially didn't matter since I don't have ATC and GSX is broken, so this will do. I don't know which gate this is. I don't much care at this point, but hey, whatever. It's a shame GSX is broken because it's really, really good. But whatever. Uh, there, that'll do. Holy crap! Parking brake on. Guess all I have to do now is engines one and two off. Five left, 
And the parking checklist. Parking wreck and shocks. Shocks are set. Parking brakes released. Engine master. Both off. Seatbelt signs. Set off. Beacon lights. Set off. Exterior lights. Set off. Anti ice. Off. Fuel pumps. Set off. Checklist complete. And uh, that's pretty much it. Christ. Yeah, I'll restart the checklist in 4 minutes 15 seconds. We're done. I think we can open the doors. Open front left and aft left. There you go. Flight attendant's just announced to D board. We're done. We made it. In spite of the autopilot shitting the bed. Crikey. I wonder if it has anything... You know the last time I did this trip, I was in an A318 and not an A319. I wonder if it automatically loading the flight plan, automatically loaded the flight plan for an A318. And that's why it, the autopilot panicked when we were trying to land. Because it was trying to land the wrong plane. Uh, I can only speculate to be honest with you at this point, I'm just glad we're alive. Um, yeah. Wheel chock set, traffic cone set, external power, connect, <laughs> return, Whew. and uh, yeah. Turn off the APU, put on external power for now. Turn off those. Parking brake is on. What else? Those can go off. Batteries can go off. External power can go off. And we are done. Can I turn the overhead? No, not that, not those. I mean, the dome light. Apparently not. Never mind. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Whew. We made it by the skin of our teeth, ladies and gents. That'll be a streamline of highlight, won't it? <laughs> the day the autopilot failed. I wasn't hoping for that, I was hoping for it to go nice and smoothly, like all four of the other flights I've already done in this, but of course because I was streaming, because it was on camera, the game was just like, <laughs> have a failure, Dave. Let's see how you deal with this. But on the on the bright side, it probably made it awful, an awful lot more exciting for you lot to watch, so... <laughs> oh my... Luckily I knew enough about how to land the plane to, to actually be able to do it without the autopilot, actually. That's probably one good thing. That's why you read the manual, folks, because then you figure that shit out. So when it does go wrong, you know what to do. Where's that little bastard going? Home for his dinner, I should expect, but anyway, yeah. Well, everybody, thank you for coming. The conclusion was slightly more interesting than I originally planned it being, but hey. 
parking was a bit crap. Um, the wheel should have been about there-ish. But never mind. Since I didn't have GSX and I didn't have the Marshaller stood down here with his little batons waving me in, I'd, 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 I'd say that was a fairly good job right there. <laughs> See, yeah, you're going to want an explanation or two. Yeah. We're probably going to be sacked. Let's let's face it. Um, the co-pilot add-on, what was it? Um... The co-pilot you had in this, you saw in this, was is built into the Airbus add-on. It comes with it. Um, but the one I'm going to be using in future, to avoid this primarily, um, is going to be FS2 Crew. Um, FS, the number 2 and Crew. Once I've figured it out and got it working reasonably well, I'll show it to you guys on a stream, and naturally, as a result of it being on a stream, it will all horribly fail, but hey... Now I have to plot the assassination of your co-pilot. Well, tempted to blame it all on him. I'll throw him under the bus. But um tish. And um hope he gets the sack instead of us. Probably won't though, because we were the pilot in command after all, but hey. <laughs> we can live in hope. Oh yeah, and what do we say? What do we say when we're looking for any excuse as to why the autopilot failed? Well, it's Ryanair. There you go. It might look like it's British Airways, but it was definitely Ryanair this flight. And yeah, I've got to admit, the airport at night looks pretty cool. Halbot 9000, yeah. Jesus. I want to land the plane. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't let you do that. Oh, look, because... Because <laughs> cause my fucking throttle quadrant's so weird, you'll occasionally see the elevators flap. Oh, dear. I need to replace that big time. There it goes again. And again. Alright, everybody, I'm done. I'm going to bed. After this harrowing experience. And I'll catch you guys whenever. Um, I'll probably stream again relatively soon if I can. Um... Honestly, I'm getting more opportunities to stream at the minute than I am to uh, to record videos. So, yeah, I'll try and get I'll try and get Sony Vegas sorted out so it stops misbehaving, and then we can get back on track. But anyway, yeah, for now I'm gonna go, everybody. So thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you next time. <laughs>